All right. Uh, it's the middle of the night, but I wanted to point out who is still working hard here. Um, let's see. Hey, there's one. I don't know how the camera is doing. With the, oh, here's a bunch in the sink. Um, so I've let this space get quite messy. Um, there's some food and there's scraps and I've just let it go. And, you know, there's only so many hours in the day and I'm not particularly good always at managing time and managing spaces. It makes me think that a lot of humans aren't and maybe it's not really our point um, is to always be managing everything because we end up like, look how we're managing the world right now. We're not, we're biomass is dying at crazy rates that are parallel to extinction events. But here we have ants that we normalize as these terrible things, but really they're, they're helping out. They're processing food that, that would be wasted. And um, humans... I'm going to defend litterers in a little bit, not what they litter, but the fact that humans are litterers is not a bad thing. That might be our role. I, when we were thinking back before we had permanent dwellings, we'd eat things and we'd leave apple cores and we'd leave unprocessed uh, food. Um, and then the rest of the environment would be happy to take care of it. And then dogs sort of worked their way in and said, we got this and we're going to be the only caretakers of that. Maybe some problems arose from that. I have a lot of thoughts about dogs working their way into human um, society and, and, and other animals that um, have sort of narrowed um, the species that we interact with. But um, yeah, uh, ants are normalized as a bad thing, but I, I don't believe they bring disease in. I, any disease that's on them might be in our environment anyways, and we're more prone to it because we either don't eat right, so we're weaken, weakening ourselves in that way, and or we uh, don't have good um, gut flora and other bacteria on our skin to guard against, and we're pu putting way too many antibiotics on our skin with the... Um, uh, hand sanitizers and combination of other things we do to our bodies that make ourselves weak. So um, I see nothing wrong with the ants. I think in other moments I'll be, uh, you know, we got to kill them and, and get rid of the mess. Um, maybe I'm just being lazy right now, but I feel like uh, it's worth pointing out that um, that there's other ways of viewing uh, both our environment and how we're going to be in our environment. And there's only so many hours in, in the day and only so many hours in our lives. And the more we spend on managing things and being managers, nobody, most people do not enjoy that. They could get into a space where they're used to it, but um, it takes away from other things that might be a lot more important in nurturing us and the world around us. So, um, and you have to ask if we're really on a good path at all when we are losing so much biology on this planet. So anyways, um, I'm going to do the right thing and I'm going to go to sleep now. But uh, yeah, these ants are uh, friendly helpers. Um, if we view them that way, they're not really, you know, who cares? Um, it's kind of like a lawn. Who cares? Let's just let the weeds that want to grow, grow, and then realize that they're edible, like dandelions are amazing. And I'm trying to figure out what else is growing on my lawn because a lot of stuff that's not grass is edible. We grow, if we were only growing grass, you know, we should have cows or something eating it, things that can eat it, but no, uh, we have to mow it down. Um, but if we had lots of edibles all the time, there'd be less need to mow because we'd be in there foraging and eating and we wouldn't mind the lawn as much. Anyways, I could keep rambling on and on, but... I'm going to stop it here because there's only so many hours in the day, like I said. So I would like to uh, not take any more of your time or my own time. All right. Good night.